kid who I hate the most. When he was in grade 6, he can program in 6 different languages in computer. He started his research in grade 2nd and after that he made 17 inventions and he was fascinated by computer science, biology and physics. And he has his invention in many things and he is a little bit boring. When he was walking down in a market in his village, he seen a lot of plastic and paper end up as a waste and also simultaneously dried leaves. He was ignited by some uh, problems and came up with a solution for the most challenging environment problems which we are facing today. And he also solved the issue which was faced by President of India for a long time from his childhood. He is none other than me. Too bad. Uh, this is my technology. Why well, I am saying I am bored because I just lock up myself with lab, has no fun, has no time to enjoy, has no time to hang out with friends, especially has no girlfriends. <laughs> this is my technology called as banana leaf technology. This is my notable work. What exactly is nothing but? It will preserve the leaves. Naturally, leaves won't stay long. It will be dry within two or three days, and it will directly end up as waste without any use. By implementing my technology, it can preserve the leaves for about one year without using any chemicals. These are the products which I manufactured from this technology. It has many utilities because it's a material. What ignited or insulated me to do or came up with this research is three problems. There was no technology to preserve the least chain law and also the plastic is a global issue. These are the reasons why we have to avoid the plastic and I am a great lover of animal. So animals were day dying because just because of paper and plastic when we eat it out on that. What exactly this technology is nothing but, this technology not only preserves the leaves, it also increases its durability, temperature holding capacity, crushability and flexibility of the leaves. I can show you that some, some kind of samples. This is the leaf. You can see that this is a leaf preserved before one year using my technology. You can still see it's green. And this is a leaf after two years. The properties is still there, but the color will be uh, just pale. It's after three years. I uh, initially made this uh, prototype on 2010. When I was uh, ignited by these problems, I went to many institutes, lab, research facilities, organizations to get some kind of instruments or lab to work upon them. What exactly or what the answer why God is nothing but there was no labs for a 6th grade student. Who is going to give a lab for a 6th grade student to play with? No, exactly. So I created a one for mine. This is the technology which I used to manufacture these products. My first technology is process green. It preserves this chloroplast in the leaves so that the green color will be appear in the same. And the second one is process kill. It kills the biological activities of the cell and makes the cell it requires no input and no output. So, uh, then third one is process GM. It decreases the dry matter in the leaves. And the next one is process sterilize. It sterilizes the leaves for no pathogenic agents. And also, the next one is process GAP. Yeah, it sterilizes the leaf. Next one is process RESIS. It resists the pathogenic agents in this leaf. Thus, it cannot be infected by any pathogenic agents. And the last one is UV for shaping. <laughs> And what exactly this technology changes in the leaf is, it makes us more durable and we can stretch the leaf just like any elastic materials and also this could be crushable just like a cloth. And this thing, uh, these leaves can withhold extreme temperatures like 222 degrees Celsius and in this cold it can withhold for about minus 32 degrees Celsius. Sure it will be suitable for all. And this is a normal banana leaf of the three days without my preservation technology. It will be just completely cracked. And this is a process leaf after one year. You can still see it's green, it is preserved on 2000 lab. And this is a leaf after three years. The pale color is seen, but the properties is the same. I'm jealous of this leaf because when many people are taking care, he becomes the personality than me. And the applications 
it is a material. This technology creates a material, new kind of material, so that it can be applicable on various sites or various fields. But now we are concentrating on nine different applications, which most of the plastic and paper is using upon. These are the products. And what will be the impact when I implement this technology? I started to manufacture and use it on my village, and it's there, it's a few factors. And it's a, it, by implementing this technology, we can significantly result, uh, reduce the amount of global warming. And also we can solve 19 different environment challenging problems by this. This is a box which is manufactured by my technology. These are the cups. The pale one is of 3 years and this green one is of 1 year. And this is a, I named this material as an NMM, a novel mysterious material. By uh, adding or addition of the grains in this leaf, we can increase the thickness. We can even manufacture this table from this leaf. How it is that? Let me show you something. This is a grade 1 leaf. It will be very thin. But this is a grade 6 leaf. It will be very thick. We can easily see that. What exactly it is? By applying pressure in vacuum, these leaves will adhesive themselves without using any chemicals so that it could be a great medium. These are the products like plates. There are few uh, existing pure rod in my field like chemical preservation technology but they are not perfect because they cannot be uh, used by humans and it's a medium for epidemic disease. And these are the stem of the leaf. We can see that this preserved leaf of the one year has the same structure, same physical structure just like the fresh green leaf. This is a normal leaf of the three days. It will be completely dry. There will be no use on that. I made an economical comparative analysis because each invention has to be economically fulfilled. By comparing the two plastic, these leaves are 67 percentage economically viable than the plastic. These are the biodegradable testers. It shows 94 percentage of the leaves is degraded, degraded after four weeks. And this uh, chlorophyll test shows that these leaves has 75 percentage of chlorophyll content re uh, retained in it after one year. And the EDAX test shows that it is completely chemical free. And how about the safety? Because it's a biological invention, you have to be very safe for that. So uh, it is completely chemical free and it's pathogenic resistant, it is tested so that it is 100% safe for human use. Also it has, it contains polyphenols so that it could be a great uh, medium for disease reduction. I made uh, 14 different testers, series of testers for about 3 years and I got a result. Banana leaf technology got 14 out of 14. This was a great count. And what can we say by implementing this technology, this banana leaf technology? What is the use of that? Totally 59% of plastic and 18% of paper is using because of the utilities like just these uh, cups, plates, bags and this kind of wrappers, packaging material. By implementing this, we can save that. 13 million trees can be saved per annum by implementing this technology in India only. So that it has a great impact on the environment. That I can assure that. Now, uh, this is my sixth year on this research. I am doing this uh, research for about the last six years. So, what I am going to do next in this research is nothing but I am going to take this research to ultracellular level. This ultracellular level is concentrating this technology on each organelle and researching on that particular area. And by implementing this, you can reduce the pollution level significantly. Also, I am also creating or exploring the potential level in the writing application. What I made is a preservation of leaves, just like a bag. So it shows an amazing property for writability. So we can decolorize this leaf and use this leaf just like a paper. That's what I am trying to do now. So 75% of the work has completed. By implementing this, we could replace 99% of paper coming from the world. So, Tenet. My name is Tenet Radhika, as you know, guys. But I hate myself most because it's a boring job by doing this in a lab. But also, uh, I'm an outstanding student. How am I an outstanding student? Do I learn very best in academics? Of course not. I lock up myself in lab for about 4 or 3 a.m. till midnight, so early morning exactly. So I usually go to school very late. 
So I have to stand outside of the class. That's what exactly the outstanding student means. But I also go on. <laughs> Guys, I also go on the uh, first morning in dynamics also by standing outside. That's a good one. But uh, I'm a pro I basically I'm from a computer uh, side field. I'm a programmer, freelance programmer. I'm also an innovator, inventor. I'm a researcher now. So I'm planning to be an entrepreneur as soon as I can. Uh, in my grade, uh, in my grade seven, when I was in eleven, I made a Guinness World Record attempt. I created most of those games created on the stage. And the second world record is a special one. I created a software which is called as Power Mind, which could run for five seventy years continuously without any interruption. So that this could be a great one for computer simulation. And uh, I started my research when I was in grade two. I made a great mistake because where in that age most of my friends are playing basketball, some kind of chesses in their home, but I was in the lab. My first invention was perpendicular motion machine, but it was a failure. But it gave me an, uh, many experience. So I made, after that I made 88 inventions attempts, which 17 is completely successful. Um, I just applied for patent with my uh, other inventions. I have a uh, few success but a lot of failures. I am not afraid about that. Once I was doing a chemical research called as uh, project transmutation, I just mixed some kind of chemicals with one another which is an great accident. I was hospitalized. I was unable to walk, unable to eat, unable to metabolize for about two weeks. I was in bed. Doctor said, us, are you a fool? Were you guys just done with this? And my fans are of fright. The only word uh, or only sentence which have come up from my mouth is nothing but science needs sacrifice. It's actually dust. Many of us are afraid about that. After that, chemical research is unable for me until I turn 18. That's why I'm waiting for. I represented India at Global Science Fair and I got gold medal in that in USA. Uh, and I re also represented India in International Environment Fair. I was the only Indian to get international first place in that fair. With Honorable President of India, I was invited by him to stay in Rashtrapati Bhavan officially as a government guest for about three weeks in Rashtrapati Bhavan. It gave a great experience for me to explore. Uh, I was planning to go abroad because I thought recognition is very low, only awards are there. But this event or this Suggestion opportunity has given me a great stage to explore. It amazing. Also, I was the only student to award as a scholar by government of India as a whole in our country. And uh, this was a funny picture when it was uh, raining and a sunny day in Rashtrapati Bhavan. So I was taking rest in that. It was a great opportunity to go all over the corner of the place to explore what we have, what our culture or what our country has, the magnificent of us. I also, also represented and invited by Albania, a uh, future leader congress. I was the youngest future leader in that whole conference. I was awarded as the top leader in that. I'm trying to commercialize this invention as soon as I can. That's what I'm trying to do for. This is a meeting with the uh, people for securing India and securing the most important assets of India. But I'm giving some suggestions to them to avoid plastic, to use what was the exploration of my idea, to give them some kind of suggestion about saving the environment also, not only the country. This was a good pick with Kalam sir in IIM Ahmedabad. I was really familiar with that. I became the family of National Innovation Foundation for my invention called as Adjustable Electrical Extension Bow. So after my uh, suggestion or after my uh, connection with National Innovation Foundation, I was started to work after my grade 10. I, I travel most of the time I was traveling all over our country and worldwide just to promote innovation among the students. Because we are the pillar of the nation. We have to do our best. That's what I'm trying to incorporate with. The people or the youths are just afraid of failures. That's what our thought is, but it is not. They are afraid of insults. 
they're afraid, not only afraid of failures, only 10% of them were afraid of that. In cells, so we have to encourage our kids, our teens, to become great. That's what exactly I'm planning and doing for. I'm tying up with National Innovation Foundation for innovative research and innovation promotion. And I'm also working with the Albanian Women in Power for creating a network for innovators worldwide. So if we got an innovation, we are going to publish that in the network as soon as everyone get the publication or if everyone get the pride all over the world when the innovation has. And the next, I'm working with Pasmein Gulaha, who are, I'm also uh, promoting the afforestation, and I'm also a little, but a little environmentalist now. I'm promoting the trees, the planting of plants now. These are the awards I received for this technology and for my other innovations. I received four international awards and uh, eight national awards and seven state awards. Some kind of uh, global speaker I am. I'm going all over the conference and speaking about the innovation. So there are recognition for us, but we are losing it particularly. And these are the organizations which I am working with and got some kind of recognition or accolades about my research. So on the whole, I'm an innovator. I'm, I'm next planning to be a professional researcher. I have, I'm doing three research currently as a basic one. My first one is back to It's nothing but, please don't love me guys, because uh, this is a research based on water. To create food from water only itself. Uh, it's a, the research were achieved on a greater level, but only the thing is nutrition has to be added in the bathroom. And the second project is project transmutation. It's not new to science, but no successful attempt has been made. I created a process, of second process of the, or equivalent to technology to transmute the iron or transmute one metal into another. That's what I am doing now. The project heal. What the project heal is, it's a rapid wound healer. When we have some kind of wound, we just pour the liquid in that. It will, wrap, it will heal within a few seconds. It is successfully made and I also tested on fishes, it's completely safe. So I am trying to do that on humans. So all guys, this is my innovation. I'm going to do this research and further. So I'm here as an environment place to promote this innovation and promote my research to an ultracell to a larger level. In the cells, it's an ultracellular level. So thank you all guys. Let's see. Let me uh, convert uh, some kind of materials into radioactivity soon. Let's hope so on. Thank you very much.